been forced drugs my whole entire life. Um, I've never ever had a chance where I could be off any type of drug. Um, when I get sick, I'll start talking a lot to myself. Um, but I do that either way. Like, I do that when I'm not even sick. Like, I'll talk to myself. But it's more closed in my mind than out loud. Um. <sighs> having schizophrenia, bipolar, depression, like, a list of fucking disorders is not technically fair. Um, because we're constantly, we're constantly treated like a child, where no matter where we go, people are always fucking, um, making decisions for us, um, telling us what the fuck to do, um, it's like, wait a minute, I can make my own decisions, you know, they might not be the best ones. They might not be the one that you want. But, um, it's the one that I want. And, uh, I just, uh, I never got to have a childhood. And that's probably one of the reasons why anyone tells me to grow up, I'll simply tell them to fuck off. <laughs> um... I hear that daily from people, and, uh, it's just, it's technically not fair, uh, you imagine yourself from the ages of 12 to 24 going in and out of the hospital, left and fucking right. Could you, could you just imagine that? Only knowing the doctors. Only knowing medication your whole entire life. Because you're considered fucking crazy. Because you're not sane. I'm to the point where if I go to the hospital again... I'm setting myself in for life. I will not... I, I will not take it out. And then my dad will be stuck with a hospital bill until he dies. I'm not dealing with this in and out bullshit anymore. Um, and that's going to suck because I'm not going to be able to make music anymore. I'm not going to be able to paint. I'm not going to be able to have my phone... Not gonna be able to have friends, not gonna be a whole life. Um, because I'm just so sick, according to these doctors, that I need medication for the rest of my life. You wanna, you wanna see me on medication for the rest of my life? You give it to me for the rest of my fucking life. Um, I'm just not wanting to go in and out. Um, personally, I think as a child, when I was 13, there was this movie called 13 that came out, and, um, that's where I learned how to cut, because before that, I never really, uh, wanted to cut. I never knew what cutting was. I always knew how to use a razor the right way, and it kind of fucked me up in the head a little bit. So, from then on, I learned to cut when I was upset, or when I was angry, or just to do it out of spite, and then I really didn't like watching movies alone, um, but, uh, I grew out of that because I am my own best friend sometimes, and, um, yeah, I didn't, I, <laughs> I could say, like, when I was living in Jersey, I had, like, one best friend. Because a lot of my friends had moved, and they moved really far away. 
and um, I had one best friend. Yeah, I had some friends and a couple of girlfriends, but um, it was like it was like really, really hard for me growing up, going in and out of the hospital and trying to keep relationships with friends. Like, one of them completely dropped me. They don't. They don't have nothing to do with me anymore. Um, but that's that's a long story. I put her through a lot. Um, I put two of my girlfriends that I had at the time when I was dating um one of my exes is that uh. I took 37 sleeping pills. Like, why Why do you give a suicidal person so many pills and then their parents can't even hide the pills from them? And then you go and you simply just down all the medication that you simply fucking can. Like, does that make sense to give a suicidal person... 40 some eyed pills and it and literally expect that motherfucker not to uh down all those pills. My last hospitalization, I was on um, what is it called? Uh, Started with a T. I don't really remember because I only took it for the time that I was in the hospital. Because once I came out, I was like, peace medicine. But, um, when um, tool bag number fucking whatever broke up with me, um, I had to go pick up my medication. Stupid as fucking. Because <laughs> I was still suicidal. I had lied to the doctors. Um,. That, uh, I wasn't suicidal. I've lied multiple times about being suicidal. I've been suicidal my whole entire life. They, when they ask you, when they ask you, are you suicidal? Like, do you feel like harming yourself or others? I simply fucking lie my ass off to that question. I've always wanted to hurt myself. I don't want to hurt other people, but, um, I'd glide my ass off with that question, because you just want out of there, like, it's so, it's so literally frustrating in a hospital, like, you have no, no fucking clue how frustrating it is in a hospital, and to eat, like, I've thrown up from hospital food before, like, really fucking bad. Like, one bite and then, bleh, bleh, bleh. like, it can't even stay the fuck down. But I've met a lot of cool people. I'm not friends with anyone that I met in the house world besides one person, but she hardly talks to me. Um. But, um, being in the hospital is really crazy, and especially being forced drugged and shit. I don't think people, I don't, I think people should have the choice on whether or not they want medication in them, because there is alternative routes. There's tons of therapy. Um, yeah, basically, if we're not on medication, like, I'm telling you this right now, because I know how it's going to turn out. Since we have a chemical balance in our brain... And they try to help us with our medication. We could literally go insane and never snap out of it. And that's the thing that I'm most scared about. Because, like, I hate medication. Medication does nothing for me. But, uh, there, there is a chance that with all this help that they're giving us. And if we don't stay on the medication, that, uh, there is a chance that we could stay crazy that they couldn't even fix it 
because the chemical will build up so much in your brain since there is a chemical imbalance that it can take over your whole entire brain and you can be crazy. That's why there is help, but I just I just refuse medication. I'd rather be crazy and delusional than on medication. Because I'm not functioning properly has how it already is. I'm constantly always on the couch. I feel like I'm always gonna fucking die. So it's there's really no help out for the mentally ill. But uh, I do more mentally ill videos. But this is right now. Hope you guys enjoy it.